we need to see how things are going to go. Either we're going to get a really strong rally. Um, people are going to move back into precious metals and miners for potentially a few weeks, a few months. Uh, and we could we could see this maybe go up and test these highs again if the stock market starts to top out and pull back. Because we have seen uh, money move into these defensive sectors like precious metals when the stock market is on a buy signal. In fact, when the stock market gives us potentially a sell signal in the next few days or the next week or so, we could very easily see gold miners start to rally up as one of those defensive plays. Gold prices rose before the release of U.S. inflation data as the value of the dollar and bond yields decreased. The lower dollar value made gold cheaper for holders of other currencies. Chris Vermeulen, an experienced and successful trader, predicted that precious metals and mining stocks could see a significant price increase in the coming weeks or months. This could happen if the stock market declines, causing investors to move their money into safer investments. Craig Hemp, the founder of TF Metals Report, expressed that precious metals have seen a decrease in their prices recently due to factors such as higher interest rates and a stronger dollar. However, both metals have found support around their 200 days moving averages. The price of gold has been in a short-term downtrend since reaching its recent high. However, gold miners have outperformed the broader market in recent weeks. When the stock market is in a bearish phase, investors are more likely to buy gold miners as a way to protect their wealth. Based on the chart analysis, Vermeulen highlighted that gold miners tend to move up when the stock market is bearish and move down when the market is bullish. Gold is seen as a safe haven asset during bear markets when stocks are declining. As gold holds its value better than stocks in bear markets, it can be sold to raise cash if necessary. Vermeulen expressed that when the stock market shows signs of tiredness, defensive sectors like utilities, precious metals, and miners tend to become more appealing to investors. Vermeulen added, if the stock market reverses, it could be a good opportunity to trade gold miners. Let's watch snippets from Chris Vermeulen's interview, but before getting into the video, make sure to subscribe our channel and give this video a thumbs up. If we take a look at the daily chart of gold, uh, you can see in the longer grand, grand scheme of things, I mean, we've got a rally, we've got a pullback, we've got a rally, we've got a pullback. Gold, while it is in a short-term downtrend, is still in a major kind of longer-term overall uptrend. It's above this 200-day moving average. It still has a series of higher lows. Mm -hmm. It still has a series of, of significant higher highs. So that is the definition of an uptrend. So from a, a bigger point of view, gold, you could say here, is down at a support level. And uh, it it's still in a longer term uptrend. Now, short term, it is bearish. The trend is clearly down because we have a series of lower highs, series yeah. of lower lows. So we're at this kind of confluence point here. We take a look at GDX. Now this, this chart here, if we go back, if you look at the very bottom of this chart, I've got these red bars and we got green and then red. The way that this is, when these bars are red, that means we do not wanna hold stocks in the stock market. But this is GDX chart on the top. When the market is in a bearish phase and moving lower, gold miners have been moving up. As soon as the stock market turned green and became a buy signal to get into stocks, Gold miners sold off because everybody wanted to move into technology, into growth. And then, of course, the stock market was out of favor again and stop, and the gold miners took off. Mm. And they've been going down ever since money's been piling into tech. So there's definitely a big uh, divergence here and or opposite effect going on with the precious metals and the miners. Uh, usually in the late stages when the market starts to get a little tired is when we tend to see defensive sectors come into play. Utilities, consumer staples. Uh, precious metals or miners. And we are seeing that. Uh, we're seeing miners actually pop up uh, with a little bit of fear uh, off the news this week. So it's definitely, we're in that kind of exhaustion phase. And the question is, is, is the market going to roll over or not? We're long the indexes. I'm, we're still bullish. We've pulled off a lot of profits. We have just a small position left uh, because it's reached these thresholds in our, in our targets. Uh, but we're still along the markets. I mean, the trend is up, even though it's showing signs of weakness, you don't just get out of it because you think it's getting tired. The market has right. a great way of going <laughs> way further than you ever anticipated. And we just have to let things play out. There's no point in getting ahead of ourselves, guessing what everything is going to do. Yeah. We wait for the stock market to reverse. 
We wait for potentially gold miners to turn into the defensive play that uh, they've been acting over the past year and change. And it could be a really good short-term trade. So, uh, and, and gold and silver, I think, will do the same thing. They're all going to move together. They are all one trade. Uh, a lot of people, yeah. you know, buy a whole bunch of gold stocks and tons of miners, and they're like, "I'm diversified. I got everything in the precious metal space." I'm like, "Well, it's one trade. That is really just one trade. Uh, you just spread yourself out the same asset. If it goes down, all your positions go down." So. Silver has dropped from its recent highs, but has found support near its 200 days moving average. However, there is an expectation that it may face further downward pressure due to deteriorating liquidity conditions. Despite a brief pullback, silver managed to rise due to a weaker jobs report weakening the US dollar. It remains close to the 200 days EMA without significant changes in its overall outlook. Chris Vermeulen predicted that silver could experience a further decline in the short term before finding a bottom and starting a new rally. Craig Hemp believes that the price of silver has been forming a pattern of higher highs and higher lows. It is currently trading around its 200 days moving average, just as it did during a previous low earlier in the year. Each time the price drops below the 200 days moving average, it tends to recover and move back up again. Silver is currently trading between two moving average indicators. The short-term outlook suggests uncertainty, but buyers are showing determination. Let's watch Chris Vermeulen's interview with Sprott Money. To me, to me, the short-term bias here, we got lower highs, we've yep. got you know lower lows. It is channeling down. It also has a bear flag. It's moving yeah. down, it's got this little bear flag pattern. Yep. Technically, the chart is pointing to lower prices. If we if we Look at the high and this low using Fibonacci extensions. You know, the next downside move for silver from where it is as of this video is about a 9% drop down to about 21 bucks. Uh, so that's what the charts are pointing to. Uh, that that could be a, a flush out. Maybe, maybe it just goes down to the 618, so 2177. Uh, we have seen this last time when we broke this. We had a little bear mm -hmm. flag at the 20-day moving average and it had a quick flush down. And then it rebounded with a vengeance. So maybe we have like a flush down and then it rebounds as that defensive play. So I wouldn't be surprised if silver, gold, and miners have one more flush out. We probably see some type of, um, you know, wave of panic and, and maybe a volume spike or something. Uh, and then it reverses and turns around. The market loves to really, you know, create a capitulation move where it just pushes in the wrong direction against the majority of people really quickly get them off the wagon and then take off without them. So uh, that's kind of what I, I think could happen here over the next uh, couple of weeks. Uh, bottom, if the market kind of pulls back a little bit from here and mm -hmm. meanders around, I would consider this kind of a standout high. Got it. And I, would, I, would, I would consider this another standout high. Now, mm -hmm. depending on how aggressive you are, you'll be like, well, those are way too far away. I don't want to wait that long. But the way I go from a technical standpoint is I look for two previous highs to be broken. So if you've broken one, two, after that, the first pause or pullback can be bought because it should go a heck of a lot higher. So that's the way I see it is you always want to break two previous highs. And that means it clearly has changed direction. It, it broke through one ceiling, but it needs to break through two. The first one could be a fluke uh, or just a shakeout. But if it breaks two resistance levels, Obviously, the herd is now moving in the opposite direction, driving mm -hmm. the price higher. Obviously, you're not going to buy down near the low, which everybody always wishes they could do. Uh, you're going to usually wait for the trend to change, and then you get on suit and you catch this low risk, high probability play versus buying it down here and going, oh, crap, and then potentially it goes even further and you end up in this position yeah. that's underwater for years. It's If you don't have an exit plan or an, or an entry plan, uh, you really get stuck with a lot of crappy positions that don't go anywhere or or, or just down. So it's all <laughs> about managing those positions, knowing when to get out and being able to pull those triggers to say, okay, I'm wrong. I wish I was going up. I like this asset, but I I just need to get out for now. I can always get back in later, but right. it goes against human you know, nature, our brain, our, our kind of emotions of taking a yeah, loss. Gold prices declined at the end of 2022, but have since gained momentum and risen towards $2,000 per ounce. Concerns about the financial stability of certain banks have increased interest in gold, as have central bank purchases of the metal. 
Analysts predict that the price of gold will continue to rise and may exceed $3,000 per ounce by 2025 and silver will outperform gold once it breaks through the $30 to $50 level. Do you agree with Chris Vermeulen's prediction that they could see a significant price increase in the coming weeks or months? Or do you think Craig Hemp is right that they may face further downward pressure? That's all from us. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe our channel and click the bell icon to be notified of future videos. We hope our content has helped you in your trading endeavors.